So welcome. This is near and dear to my heart. I'm Julie Atwell, and I have been working with the raindrop technique for many years, actually. And I don't always do all of the oils that we're going to talk about. Sometimes it's a condensed version, depending on time. Um, also use it on all of my kids. So it depends on uh, what their needs are. Um, but this technique is absolutely amazing. And if everybody had these tools in their home, they would be amazed at how helpful they can be to rebalance the body and, and keep you well. It's, it's wonderful. So I do want to share this technique. I think everybody should know about it and share it with their friends. Um, and there used to be a lot of events that actually in-person events where you could um, actually go see it demonstrated. You could actually practice it. Um, right now, there I searched in the area. There's not a lot um, in-person happening. But if you are in my area, which is um, here in Orlando, Central Florida area, um, I am willing to um, definitely teach you in person if this video um, is interesting and it's something you want to explore further. Um, I would love to actually share the raindrop um, technique in person. So um, you'll have all my contact information on YouTube um, so you can definitely um, send me a message. Um, so the raindrop technique, I'm going to give a little bit of history about it, I'm going to share each um, oil and how they are um, laid down. And then we're going to wrap up with just some um, practical application ideas. Um, so let's just get started um, with introducing uh, what the raindrop technique is. It's a widely popular technique that is known all around the world and it, it it was uh, developed by our founder, uh, Gary Young, and it is, um, it takes, there are, how many oils? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine oils um, in it. And over the years, um, they've kind of changed and some oils will add at the beginning and end, depending on what the need is. Um, but it, there's actually a raindrop um, collection that you can get and I'll share my member number in the notes as well. So you can go ahead and, and get that raindrop um, uh, collection. And it's just a box of oils and it will have instructions there, but you'll always have this video that you can refer back to. And it is, um, what, this one kit is key for invigorating the mind uh, balancing the body's energies, supporting your immune system, supporting the body's natural defenses, maintaining structural alignment, and promoting a healthy respiratory system. It even aids in relaxation. So it, it really does cover the gamut uh, over the whole entire body. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the collection, <clears throat> and you'll see... Um, some of the oils here featured on um, the first the first page, um, but I want to introduce. Um, there is a carrier oil that I use sometimes. Uh, sometimes when I'm doing the raindrop on myself, and if you're wondering well, how do you do it on yourself, it's actually on our feet. Um, is how we do the raindrop technique. Um, you can also do it on the spine on the back. Um, I prefer to do it on the feet. I think it's an, an extremely effective method. Um, it's safe for all ages uh, to do it on the feet. And I just, it, it's just, I'm more comfortable um, doing it on the feet. So that's why we're going to focus on uh, that application today. So we do have a Valor, which is the very first oil. And Valor is absolutely an amazing oil um, that is for courage. Um, it is, I love using that every single day. Um, oregano, thyme, basil, um, those are all great for your immune system. 
Cypress, great for your circulatory system. Um, marjoram is really one of those heavy hitters that um, is great for your immune system as well. Um, wintergreen, that opens up everything. Um, same with peppermint and aroma, aroma seeds. So these are all the oils that you would need to, um, to get your body back into balance, okay? So let's just talk about uh, the origins of the raindrop technique. So it is a unique practice um, based on methods that have been used for centuries to rejuvenate the body and mind. And it helps bring balance and harmony back to the body by combining targeted massage and distinctive energy appro approaches. So this method uh, draws from the Native American wellness traditions and provides a revolutionary means of nurturing harmony um, physically, mentally, and emotionally. So although the raindrop technique was designed uh, to be done by a trained technician, um, this class will help you learn how you can use these oils um, to reap some extra benefits um, by how you apply them and teach and, and then, then I will teach you the order um, of use as well. So the following slides are meant to help you give more information um, about the range of technique and the ways you can use the oils at home on yourself. And so we are going to uh, start out by talking about the raindrop um, session. And you really should start with lengthening, okay, lengthening your body. In a typical session, the technician would um, hold on your feet and gently pull on them um, so we can just get some lengthening in your body. Um, once the quiet space is set that is key to have a good environment you take a few deep breaths you stand tall you can stretch your arms up high get a good stretch and then stretch down to your toes and lay flat on your back for a few deep breaths so that is first um, this is a good practice just to do in general every single day um, stretching is amazing for your body. Um, it's extremely important. We don't do enough of it. And um, we forget, we forget sometimes to even move like during the day. So stretching is incredibly important just as a general practice. Um, and so, all right, so let's talk about Valor. Um, you would apply Valor to your uh, shoulders and then your bare feet and massage your feet and then hold them in your hands uh, for about three to five minutes while you take deep breaths, okay? Uh, Valor is an important part of the process because it supports the balancing of the entire body at the beginning and at the end of the raindrop. So this particular oil builds one's confidence, strength, strength, courage, um, allows you to feel protected, um, and it, its name really comes from the Roman legends, and this particular abundant oil was rubbed on Roman soldiers before battle to strengthen their courage in the face of their op opponents. So extremely powerful oil. This is one that I give to my teens. It is, it is amazing. Um, so one foot at a time, you're going to um, be using, oh, there's, there's Valor. <laughs> Um, you're going to be using this roll and release of Vitaflex method. And this is, um, I'm skipping ahead. I, okay. Um, that's just about stretching and valor. Okay. So the roll and release method, as you can see on the screen, um, the pad, um, the pad of your hand, um, and then the tip, the tips right here on your fingers, the tips, and then the nail. Now mine are a little bit long. You're gonna have to shorten your nails if you wanna do this um, roll and release method. Um, and it's demonstrated here, but basically if you would take your forearm, let's see if I can, okay, take your forearm, and you would have um, your pad, of your hand resting here, you would have your thumb down here, 
okay? And you simply would roll up and then press with the nail, okay? And then you would just move down a little bit and roll up, okay? And then you would keep moving down maybe not even a quarter inch and that would be how you would move down on your the spine of your foot, okay? Um, and when we talk about the spine of your foot, we're talking about the inside. And let me see if I can, can non-awkwardly show you where this is. Okay, let's see if I can get my foot up here. Okay, so you can see my foot. The spine runs along here, okay? And you would basically be taking your thumb. This is really awkward. Okay. And you would be moving your, your thumb and your nail, and you would just move it down your spine on your foot. And when you get up to your toe, you're going to massage it a little bit more. Okay, this is a very specific um, uh, technique, um, the roll and release. There's also another technique called the thumb walk. And this, was, this is the method that I prefer to do the thumb walk. And you can even practice on your uh, forearm here, but basically it's kind of using your um, thumb as a plow, okay? and you're plowing forward and you're kind of digging and releasing. So you're pushing down and then releasing. And your skin should be kind of um, wrinkling forward. You're not pulling back. So the wrinkle should not be pulling back. It should be pushing forward. Okay, and when you get really good at this, <laughs> um, it feels so incredibly good. So that is the thumb walk method, or you can do um, the other method with the roll and release, the roll and release, okay? Roll and release. Um, okay, so. Um, you move the fingers um, up the inside of your foot and repeat this motion again and again until you reach the big toe. Once you've done that, you're going to massage the big toe and repeat the pad tip nail motion three times before doing the next oil. The finger pads um, help create a charge. Okay, so that's kind of the first thing that happens. The charge or connection with your foot and the essential oils. The nails actually help pulse the energy and the oils um, go deeper into your skin and foot. So that's why this method is so effective um, is that it's really creating, creating that charge and that connection and then it is pulsing the energy, okay? All right, so, and there are, um, Lots of videos online that you can look up. You can look up um, the thumb walk method. You can look at the roll and release method. There are quite a few videos um, out there. And I'll put some, I'll put a particular video in the show notes um, that you can um, definitely view a demo. <clears throat> okay. So um, this basically, this slide is just talking about um, doing the roll and release, um, applying the carrier oil on the bottom inside of your foot from your heel to your, heel to your big toe. And then you're gonna drop the oils um, starting on the inner foot and then do your roll and release uh, motion, okay? Okay, so um, each of these oils are were carefully uh, selected for a specific reason to be part of this technique. Um, and we'll continue learning about each of them. But to make um, the technique um, easier to administer, a lot of people do use a, um, 
a dropper, okay? A glass uh, dropper bottles, you will need nine dropper bottles, um, but sometimes they find it easier rather than uh, unscrewing the cap and then, you know, trying to uh, put the oils on. So that's something uh, you might wanna consider um, getting. And um, you can also um, put in some V6 in there and pre-dilute them. So they're like already ready to go. Um, and you can save time, you know, for the person who needs like the rain drop after you. It saves a lot of time. Um, okay, or you can even make a roller. So a roller ball is really effective. They, you could just roll it right on the foot. Um, if you use the Young Living um, roller balls, they actually have these specially designed wells that do not allow backflow um, into there. So everything is uh, kept safe and clean. And so just an option to do a roller ball as well with this. Um, so how often should you apply raindrop oils to your feet? Um, well, it's, it's really easy to see after this kind of wellness tool is used um, that if you are struggling to stay above the wellness line ever, um, you would do it. So if you're feeling just a little bit off, you would do the raindrop technique. Um, so it's something that I use. I have five kids. And so there's, there's a chance <laughs> on a given day that someone is falling below the wellness line. And I love to be able to use this um, anytime. Um, so the key is to, we really want to stay healthy and keep our bodies in balance. And this is one of the powerful ways to maintain a well, fully functioning body. Uh, one that will carry us day in and day out so that we can work and play uh, to the best of our abilities every time. So um, you can even say a schedule if you want to use it with yourself uh, and your family weekly or monthly or daily if need be. Uh, last week was one of those weeks where it was daily for me. Um, so it just depends on your needs. Okay. So we briefly talked about valor, starting with that in your shoulders and your feet. Um, so I want to uh, talk about um, this, this oil is, it's woodsy grounding. It's a great oil. Men love it. Women love it. It's, a, it's an all around favorite for everybody. This also comes in the starter kit. So there are 12 oils in the starter kit um, that is different from this raindrop, raindrop technique kit. Um, but it does come in there because it is a mainstay, something we should be using every single day. Um, okay, so woodsy grounding aroma, great for massages, helps encourage healthy alignment. Um, using Valor Daily may promote positive attitude and focus. So it's an important part of this process as it helps support the balancing of the entire body at the beginning and at the end of the raindrop. This oil builds um, confidence, strength, courage. Um, and like I said, it's, it supports the alignment. It's kind of called the chiropractor in a bottle. And um, therefore it takes on a vital role in both the initial emotional and physical support needed at the beginning of the technique as well as at the very end. So let's move on to oregano. And so each time you're just gonna be putting the oils on and you're gonna be doing the roll and release or the thumb walk three times, and then you'll do the next oil, okay? So oregano, this warm herbaceous oil supports muscles after, after exercise when used in combination with massage. So it's also known to have a, extremely high cleansing properties. It's a purifying oil. It, um, it supports the immune system and provides antioxidants to the body. It is a hot oil, so it will need to be diluted most of the time. Um, and it's also great for uh, supporting a healthy respiratory system. Um, so you're, you're gonna mix it with that carrier oil in the palm of your hand, um, move clockwise on the foot, and then hold um, the foot in your hand, and then go ahead and rub along the spine. Um, and 
So these hot oils like oregano need to be just handled with a little bit of extra care. So, and if you ever get an essential oil in your eye or sensitive area, it's never meant to be used in a soft tissue area. Um, just make sure that you use a uh, carrier oil and uh, pull it out with that. Do not use water, okay? Because water will drive it in. Okay, and you can use any carrier oil. Um, I love the V6 from Young Living because it is, it has six different vegetable oils. Um, they are pure. I don't have to think about, um, you know, is this safe to put on my skin? It's absolutely wonderful, but you can use organic coconut oil, avocado oil, jojoba oil. There's so many different uh, carrier oils you can use. Um, okay, let's move on to time. So this one, also herbaceous aroma, um, great for tired muscles and is believed to bring a sense of purpose and clarity. So thyme is both powerful and penetrating, making it the perfect part of the raindrop technique. Uh, this particular one is, has the strongest antioxidants known to man. Therefore, it aids the body in helping eliminate free radicals. In addition, it promotes a healthy immune system, nervous system, digestive system and respiratory system. So it's like a whole body support. It's amazing. I absolutely love it. Um, it's also the key ingredient in our ortho ease uh, massage oil. And so it's, which is great to use after exercise. Um, so, and it does bring about a sense of purpose when used aromatically. So I love that about time. Um, okay. So let's go, oh, and also time. I use this in my kitchen. We have a ton of vitality oils. And so all these herbs, thyme, oregano, basil, dill, um, I, I have, cilantro, I have them all in my kitchen. I never have to buy any fresh herbs or make sure that I don't get you know, radiated herbs. Um, I need to buy them organic, so I just move over to oils because it's so much easier to use in the kitchen and they last forever, so it's great. Okay, let's move on to basil. Um, this herbaceous aroma is calming and refreshing. Um, if you have muscle uh, discomfort after exercise, this is, basil is known to soothe tired and fatigued muscles. So it's an ingredient in our popular blends, M-Grain and Clarity. Um, it helps the body's overall balance. Um, when inhaled, it refreshes the mind and restores mental alertness, which is always key. Uh, basil is able to help maintain healthy olfactory um, <clears throat> for the body. And is also, and is often used to promote uh, comfort for muscles and joints. So, um, I also love this combined with lemongrass in the diffuser. It's absolutely amazing. So let's move on to cypress. Oh, it's one of my favorite oils. Okay, this, um, this oil is known for its circulatory um, powers, okay? Um, it has, it's, it's really, hold on one second. Okay. Um, it is a great for obviously those tired muscles, um, troubled skin um, after working out is a really great time to use this. Um, it does give a sense of security and grounding and it's really versatile. I have it in my bathroom. I use it for many different things, many different circulatory needing things. Um, and it is, um, it just helps maintain that um, healthy emotional balance. It's, it's encouraging feelings of security um, and stability. Um, you know, I have tons of cypress like around, I live, <laughs> I feel like I live in the cypress trees um, and they are extremely stabilizing. Um, so it is known to help the body's circulatory system stay healthy and at its prime. Um, used to promote the urinary tract and to maintain a healthy, ha healthy, um, happy, comfortable head. Um, so you can use it at that time of the month um, as a DIY deodorant is really great. Um, you can use it um, for healthy looking skin. 
Um, you can use it um, in the bedroom. Cypress is just a really great um, circulatory oil. Okay, wintergreen. So this is minty, minty oil. It's very stimulating and invigorating. It is, um, it's found in many muscle and joint blends at Young Living and it's known for its soothing properties. So wintergreen contains rich chemical components such as methyl salicylate, um, and it's ideal for massages and for warming and soothing experience. You can add wintergreen um, oil to your post-workout um, massages and it will aid in renewing both the mind and the body. So remember, a little bit goes a long way with wintergreen. Um, it comes out very fast and be sure to dilute this with carrier oil um, to reduce any possible skin sensitivities. Um, and this is used in our blend called Panaway, which is also in the starter kit. Um, it's also in Raven, and it's going to soothe normal tensions throughout the body, um, making it perfect for that massage. Um, and it also does maintain muscle health and comfort, and uh, great, obviously, for re your respiratory system. So, um, so I did want to talk about... Um, so under the age of five, so peppermint, rosemary, eucalyptus, some of these um, can be used on the feet, but you have to be very mindful. Um, the wintergreen actually has a child cap on it. Um, so it's same way with Panaway because of the wintergreen. So you just need to be a little bit careful um, for those under the age of, um, of five. And um, dilution. Dilution, dilution, dilution for those little ones. Okay, marjoram. Marjoram, um, I just got this in the mail the other day because I ran out. I love this oil. It is used to relax tense muscles after exercise. It is high in antioxidants and um, can promote a healthy nervous system. Um, it's a lesser known oil, but it is a powerhouse. This is a staple oil. Um, to have on hand. In fact, I make this hormone um, rollerball, and that's one of the key ingredients in my hormone uh, rollerball. Um, it's a little spicy, um, herbaceous scent, and perfect for calming and soothing the mind. Its warming effect is comforting for muscles and aids in relaxing the nervous system. So you just, you can even put a few drops um, in a cup of Epsom salts and take a very soothing bath. It's really great for that. Um, it will open up the lungs. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, okay, so let's move on to Aroma Seas. Aroma Seas is um, smooth, smooth um, relaxing. It rejuvenates um, after a long day or tough workout. And um, it has five um, essential oils in this blend. Um, and it's one of the few blends used in the technique, uh, but it's a great complement to the other massage oils um, because it really does maintain um, healthy muscles during the technique. Um, it's also a great one to use outside of the collection um, for similar benefits when you don't have time for the entire technique. So I do um, use this one on its own quite a bit. Um, you can also put this one with Epsom salts in a bath and, um, I put it in a rollerball. I absolutely love it with a rollerball. Um, okay, so let's move on to peppermint. Ah, who doesn't love peppermint? Peppermint is one of my favorite favorite um, oils. It is so versatile. I use it for a gazillion things. I love it in my smoothies with chocolate. I absolutely love it. Um, okay, so peppermint um, has, whoops, sorry about that, um, has a nostalgic fresh aroma that creates a cool tingling sensation on the skin. And it can be very smooth, soothing after um, hard physical activity. Um, you can dilute this one as needed. It is, um, it works as a cooling system for your body. Um, it is intentionally the last oil used in this process because it is a driver oil. So it's gonna help drive all those other oils in. And that's why it's important to layer it on top of the others instead of mixing them together. Uh, the synergy created is different and more effective uh, for the purpose of peppermint in the technique. In addition 
to its ability to drive other oils into the body, it will also complement the muscle and respiratory support of the other oils. The peppermint plant um, is, is a versatile perennial herb that has been cherished since ancient times. The plant's first recorded appearance dates back to 1000 BC when dry peppermint leaves were found entombed in ancient Egyptian pyramids. Throughout time, this herb has been valued as a multi-purpose plant and an essential oil whose com components are now used by co cosmetic, culinary, health industries around the world. It's widely popular. Um, it's great for clarity, memory work. Um, it is, uh, it's it's just great. I live in Florida. It's very hot here. It is excellent for putting on the back of your neck and just cooling down. Um, so that is peppermint. Let's move on to the carrier oils. Um, V6, like I said, that is a vegetable oil uh, with six different vegetable oils in it. And um, it's absolutely wonderful. I love that. Um, we talked briefly about the ortho ease um, that has the wintergreen in it. So basically the reason why you would wanna do these from Young Living and they do come with a cool pump on them, which makes it super handy, super easy to use. Um, basically you don't have any of the junk, no parabens, no phthalates, no um, petrochemicals. Um, Lanolin is a product derived from sheep that can contain GMOs and pesticides when those sheets are exposed to them. So um, GMOs are often doused with glyphosate, which we know is an endocrine disruptor. So uh, I, we just take the guesswork out of all those crazy things. Um, you don't want phthalates and parabens in your stuff that you're putting on your skin because what goes on your skin is going in. Um, so we just take all the guesswork out, we give you the pure products your carrier oils and done. Okay. Um, and also just a note about synthetic fragrances. Um, did you know that 95% of the chemicals in synthetic fragrances are, are derived from petrochemicals? So these petrochemicals um, include benzene derivatives, um, aldehydes, phthalates, like I said, and these and many other known toxins are capable of causing cancer, birth defects, nervous system disorders, allergies, um, and you can even go on the EPA's hazardous waste list and find some of those petrochemicals on there. So not good. Um, so that's why we, we love these um, massage oils. Specifically, um, OrthoEase, this is a common blend of vegetable and essential oils that have um, juniper, marjoram, peppermint, and wintergreen in it. And um, then the V6, like I said, six different vegetable oils, and um, it, it works with all skin types. It's very soothing. Um, and so that is it. Um, these are a few notes. Oh, drink plenty of water at the end to flush out any of the toxins. What's going to happen is your body is going to dump some bad information out of your cells. You want to make sure that you uh, drink a lot of water so you can um, cleanse uh, the body. Make sure you keep your fingernails clean and short, <laughs> unlike these, um, or do the thumb walk and then you won't have to cut off all your nails. Um, and just wanted to let you know that you can uh, go to the ninjaoiler.com or you can text save uh, to 321 438 3237. And then I will send you information about how you can get these um, at 24% off. Um, I truly, truly appreciate you spending time <clears throat> with me to learn this raindrop technique. I highly advise you uh, practice on your own feet. It's just so wonderful that we are able to help ourselves and give ourselves this kind of massage um, at any time. Um, and it, the, you'll get faster at the thumb walk or the roll and uh, release technique. You'll get much faster at it. These are great tools to be able to use um, for health and wellness. And um, I just wish you um, abundant health and keep in touch.